guys and welcome back to no. Today we're gonna talk to Ayla about Elise Oh get ready Get ready Something on your mind? Huh? You haven't been yourself since we spoke to Zhao. Yeah. I love. I had to follow the bad guys into the hunting grounds. I was worried. Well, it was an eventful manhunt, but we made it back in one piece. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horrible coincidence. Isla, you can drop the act. Well, what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? I'm saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the finals? At tournament time, any outsiders are either combatants or spectators. <sighs> right. I recall what she said when she came to help us. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? No one here would need to ask that. Not at tournament time. You were ordered to make contact with us. By Exodus. Isla, that's not true, is it? They said you'd never find out. They promised. But I had no choice in the matter. They blackmailed you, didn't they? They know your secret. Your former... occupation. They asked. Wouldn't it be a shame if Jürgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please don't tell Jürgen. He doesn't know. How could I tell him? He's a good man. But it's all in the past, isn't it? Your fiancé should know these things. You're a woman. How could you not understand this? I'm damaged goods. If he found out about my past, he'd leave me. I finally found happiness with Jürgen. For once in my life. Please. Don't tell him. Please. Nah, bro. Hmm. I doubt I'll ever understand human love. It has so many rules and conditions. What should we do, Elise? You decide. Me? Why do I have to? This woman's actions affected you far more than us. There's nothing I can do to make it up to you. But please, forgive me. I just don't care anymore. Elise is all alone now, no matter what you do. <laughs> Try to find Jurgen. We need to talk to him about the wyverns. What do you think? What's wrong, kid? Isla said there was nothing she could do to make it up to Elise. But did she actually try? Is there really nothing she can do? Isla is the only one who can answer that question. at the Shandu Coliseum. Want to give it a shot? Leia really loves to gamble. Count me out. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. You seem like the type who would enjoy that sort of thing. Gambling's a big thing in my hometown. I've seen it go wrong time and time again. Oh, come on! We'd just be doing it for fun. The folks who lose their shirts all start out saying that. It's the first rule of betting. If you're just goofing around, don't gamble. If you want to <laughs> gamble, don't goof around. So, in other words... Only gamble when you're willing to stake everything. Exactly. Little dramatic, don't you think? If you really want to play, I'm not going to stop you. 
Just some friendly advice. Alvin sure got serious all of oh. a sudden. Maybe we should take his advice. Yeah, let's skip the gambling. Huh. No sign of Jurgen. I hope Elise is okay. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctogal was conducting at Fort Gondola? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Rashigal already has booster technology as well. That would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctical might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Isla told me you were back in town. I'm so relieved to find you safe. Thanks. Are the wyverns you promised us ready to ride yet? Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. Hey. Maybe we should warn the King of Ashul how ugly things will get if war breaks out. The King does seem pretty popular. Do you think maybe he'd fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. Hmm. This is a war we're talking about here, not a huh. tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face huh. chat with the King myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. It's crucial that we meet the King of Ashul. We'll head for Kambalar right away. Uh, okay. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there, too. Did Zhao tell you that? Yeah. If the king truly wishes to protect his people, he'll give me the answer I seek. If he gives me the wrong answer, I'll remind him of his duty. Get him! I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea. Let's go pick the king's brain. Oh, I just remembered. All our luggage is back at the inn. Let us go fetch it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Alvin. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, O oh, hallowed spirit. Never a dull moment with that guy. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the Force power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. But they will be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, 
they would just disappear? A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. <sighs> Still, I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious. Let's head for Kanbalar. Maybe I should pay a quick visit. A visit to where? Oh, did you overhear that? That's nothing. Just an acquaintance who lives here is all. You mean... Your mom? It seems that Exodus has slipped through our fingers. There's nothing we can do about that now. They must be as desperate as we are, given their behavior. And what do you intend to do about Alvin? If we send him away, he'll only follow us. And we can't neutralize him by force without risking our own lives. Therefore, the safest solution is to keep him where we can see him. Besides, for good or for ill, that man has the power to change the circumstances of any situation. That is not a power to be dismissed lightly. Nor is the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. Normally, the four great spirits follow you everywhere. Is that for real? Yes, but... No way! So how does it feel to command them? Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. They've always been with me, so it just feels... normal. They're always with you, huh? So I guess it's like Elise and Tipo. Interesting. So Elise may feel the same way about Tipo as I feel about the four. When you put it that way, the way I've treated her seems quite insensitive. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh, no, it's nothing. I can't afford to get swept up in sentiment at a time like this. Right on point! Get him! Good job! Yeah. I'm ready! Go, Tifa! Bearing is bearing! I'll help! Good job! Let's do this! Got it! Sharing is caring. Not yet. I did it. What? 
A dead end? How unfortunate. I'm impressed with your ability to handle a different weapon in each hand. When I was a kid, I was left handed, so I worked at strengthening my right arm instead. That shows good combat sense. I imagine you needed special training to learn how to wield a sword with your offhand. Must have been tough. No, it had nothing to do with combat. Just part of my daily life. You know me. Always a girl on each arm. And it would be rude to handle each of them differently. What? And here I was starting to respect you. I'm oh. leaving. Are two arms even enough for you? With a woman of your stature, maybe not. Good. I'd hate for you to think that you can handle me with just one. Right if on we point. Must. Hey, looky here! Oh. Don't worry. Dude! Yeah. How are you? I got your back! Yeah. Huh? That's one! Got it! 
Who's next? Yeah, you're so strong! So warm! Yeah. <laughs> Onward. Just keeps never stopping. Oh, you want to ride? The likes of you will not stop me. Yeah, bro. I will fix my baby one. Okay. Yeah. 
I have to admit, it's nice sometimes just spacing out. Everyone could use a break here and there. Look at me. Watch out! All that training's paying off. Maybe it's time for a black belt. Maybe. Shouldn't you wear more clothes, Mila? It's really cold out here. Oh, I'll be f hmm. martial arts to use. You simply have to experiment with them all. It's the only way to find the ones that suit your style.